after Biden was indicted by a federal grand jury on three gun charges. Given that, Mr. President, can you continue to say that there are two systems of justice? Well, I think there's no question about it. He had a plea deal that was the deal of the century. Uh, The art of the deal. You could write a book on it. The art of the deal. Uh, So they're talking about uh, Hunter Biden being indicted on gun charges. Finally, they should probably indict the whole family on racketeering like those rap labels down in Atlanta. But I want you all to pay attention to this new, maybe not so new, but this wording, this angle that Trump is taking i'm gonna keep going uh and all of a sudden that was broken up by a judge who was able to a brilliant judge actually who was able to see through what was happening and it's a sad situation i mean nobody should be happy about this i'm not happy about it nobody is it's a very sad thing it's so bad for our country but you know if you think about it he's happy about it i've been under investigation from the day i came down the escalator and phony investigation, fake investigations, investigations that I beat every single time, still under investigations. But it's a very sad thing, and it's a uh, slippery slope and dangerous, very dangerous for our country. But you talked about the plea deal, but now Hunter Biden's been indicted. He's facing... So don't be fooled out there. I'm going to keep going. We haven't gotten to the important part yet, but don't forget that this is the same Trump uh, that attorney Alton Maddox says has mafia ties. Um, This is the same guy that tried to taint the jury pool in regards to the innocent Central Park Five who were released because of their innocence and given a settlement because of their innocence, not nearly enough money to compensate them for what they lost in their time of life. So, you know, don't be fooled by Trump, but Joe Biden is no better. Very serious charges. So doesn't that undercut your entire argument that there are two systems of justice in this country? Well, it's one of 12 charges. There are 12 possible charges. And he's and still this under is the investigation. the only charge that doesn't affect his father. Well, he's still under investigation. Well, sure, maybe. I mean, let's see what happens. But this is the only charge that doesn't affect Joe Biden. Uh, this was the gun charge. But gun charges are very serious. You know, people have had gun charges and gone to jail for a lot of, a lot of years. I pardoned some people who I thought it was uh, just horrible what happened, but they were put in jail for many, many years. Rappers. And- <laughs> No, that's the point. That's the part when you ought to pick rappers. I wanted everybody to pay attention to that part and where Trump is going. Because that last election, he had Kanye West up there. He had Lil Wayne. It was pretty funny. But honestly, if I were Lil Wayne facing all that time, I would have wore the hat, maybe. But Lil Wayne got through it without wearing the hat. He did have to denounce there's any existence of racism, but he was facing 10 years. And hey, if Kanye West was really successful in getting uh, Larry Hoover released, well, that would have deserved some respect. But to Donald Trump and his campaign staff, being buddy-buddy with rappers, quote-unquote, isn't going to save you or isn't going to get you the black vote. Reparations... A bill to protect black people from violent crimes and scams. A black hate crime bill like the Asians. If you want to go down as the GOAT, as the greatest in the White House ever, if you want allegiance, loyalty from the black community for the Republican Party, well, reparations is where you need to head. And don't just say it, actually do it by executive order when you get in office. Thumbs up. Then we'll see who's really talking and who's really not. That goes for Joe Biden, too. But uh, you're going to see more of this probably on the campaign trail. Rappers. That was pretty funny. But let's keep going. Others. So, look, it's it's a bad thing, uh, but it's one of... 12 and it's the one charge that doesn't affect joe biden well of course there's no evidence that the president has any link to his son's business dealings let me ask you though well, i don't about a i second. don't necessarily well, no- he, he called in you mean he called in all these meetings he was calling in on the meetings he was put on speakerphone and give me every single day and the witness literally many many calls and uh and what about the fact that he 
got rid of the prosecutor for a billion dollars. Well, the said, witness you don't, testified. You don't get rid of this prosecutor. We're not giving you a billion dollars to Ukraine. He said that. I mean, there are a lot of things here. Mr. Mr. President, the... I mean, I don't know, you know, what's right or what's wrong or what's accusatory in that situation. This is Raw Status TV, sports, entertainment, and politics. But I will say there has been a lot of shady type of business going on ever since Joe Biden has taken office. The assassination of the Haitian president, the war in Ukraine, all the turmoil in Africa. These are both white supremacist suspects. But a lot of this nonsense wasn't happening under Trump, and you just have to acknowledge that. So again, if Trump, if you, Donald Trump, want to pry the Democrats, the, the uh, black constituents of the Democratic Party, then you need to start talking reparations. The policy against immigration is not enough, although that is a big problem. Where is the money cut the check executive order when you get back in office in January? That might get you a vote. Let me know what you think. Brief video, more to come. This is Raw Status TV.